right here. If we got anything in there. Oh yeah, look at those. Look, look at them all. Look at that one. But there's a baby bluegill. What's up guys? Finn coming to you for the basement. Let's see. Alright. Just had to check and make sure uh, my camera was on the correct angle, which it is. I'm good to go. Um, I just got back from the lake. I showed you guys a brief video of how I bait my fish off my dock. Um, it was actually pretty successful this weekend using the G's minnow trap that I had ordered. But um, I did manage to capture a bunch of minnows and baby bluegill. I, um, and I do have a baby rock bass in here as well. Um, let's go get to it. As you can see, my baby bluegill did not have any kind of fin rock going on when I initially caught him. My guess is that, well, this is what happens when they're stressed out. That That's what happens. They start to get the fin rot, um, and uh, so you just got to treat it. Um, so I treated the tank. Hopefully they'll, they'll recover just fine, which most fish do if you properly treat them. Um, I have seen, well actually one of my bigger gills, he was so stressed out, my green sunfish, as a matter of fact, he was so stressed out that his old fin was rotted right off. And uh, I put him in a different aquarium by himself and treated him and he grew, grew right back. So, um, I got a lot of bluegill in here and I don't, I'm not going to sit here and raise them all in this aquarium. Uh, I just wanted to transfer as much as I could for baby-wise because I'm going to leave them in here probably for uh, a month or so. And then me and the landowner out there where the pond is at are going to build a like pool with a waterfall flowing into the pond uh, well that's our that's our plans um, so as soon as I guys got these guys back to my house I hurry up I hurried as fast as I could get got them unloaded put them in plastic bags and got them acquired you know to the te water temperature but uh, I did only about for 10 minutes uh, typically, 15, 15 minutes is what you want to aim at, but I ha had to hurry. Um, some of them were in rough shape. I lost only one fish, and the way I um, transferred them was just a five-gallon bucket. I drilled a hole in the top and a little air pump. Just put on the top. Like that. 
seal this top. No water spilled in the vehicle. And uh, it's good to go. So, over the weekend I did a lot of different activities. So I'm going to have to split them up into different videos because of the length. But I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, there will definitely be more to come this summer while up there. Uh, the whole dog, the dog food and the bread work really well. Uh, I saw the minnows. I threw the uh, basket over to them, and uh, they were in there pretty quick. Uh, the most cleanup I, the best cleanup I had, I think, was about a dozen uh, minnows, and that was first thing in the morning. So. I kind of learned something. As the day went on, the cleanup, I don't think I got any after that. So, I think the best time to get minnows would be in the morning time. Uh, or towards uh, the evening time when they're feeding. That's my guess. I don't know. Maybe they like the morning sun. But, uh, I did definitely learn something. And, uh, I appreciate you guys watching this video, taking the time out of your day. Uh, have a memorial day. And uh, we will see you guys next week, Tuesday. Take care. Someday be all alone. Someday be all alone. Way out in a combat zone. Way out in a combat zone. Bullets flying all around. Bullets flying all around. Better keep your head to the ground. Better keep your head to the ground. Don't you worry about being alone. Don't you worry about being alone. Second platoon will bring you home. Second platoon will bring you home. Drive on second platoon. Drive on second platoon. Drive on second platoon. Drive on.